You know, there's a very interesting play written by Peter Schaeffer called Amadeus, in which Salieri, who's the court musician, says of himself that I'm the patron saint of mediocrity. <laughs> and Mozart was this prodigious genius who came and defied all the rules. You, in many ways, have defied the traditional rules of cinema. When you take these risks, and the risks are both financial and reputational, what goes through your mind, and do you at times believe these risks are worth taking? Uh, well, when I began my career, I didn't take very many risks, actually, because of the first uh, two films that I pr directed and my father produced, the whole idea there was that I was seeking uh, commerce in art. And I think that was pretty much what my intention was, to make sure that my production house, Dharma Productions, could stand tall um, and gain you know, that kind of economic strength, which we hadn't uh, before that. It's only in the last decade, and it's ironically after I lost my father, that I grew wings. Um, I, somewhere, I think the two are connected. I think his constant emotional surveillance may not have allowed me to take few chances in cinema. But when I take those chances, I make sure that it's done with a certain amount of strategy and intelligence. Like I'm always, and I want to be honest here and say that I never take a risk that is something that I know is going to bite me in a way that I will repent. There's always some kind of padding, and that does dilute the impact of the risk I'm taking. But I do definitely make sure that some of my bases are covered. So I'm not saying that, you know, and I would say that honestly to you, that I'm not saying that any great risk I've taken has actually been really something that I should be afraid of. Barring a few, when I've made films like on, in, when I directed in an omnibus endeavor, where I directed a film in Bombay Talkies, which treaded upon um, homosexuality and, you know, how it is sometimes hidden because of society pressures and social pressures. And I did take that chance because I was making a different kind of film. And then there are other things that one, in life, one talks about or seeks through modes of entertainment. Today, I feel there's a lot more abandon. And I feel there's a lot more freedom that I exercise where it comes to my work. And what do you, when, to answer your question, what am I thinking? I've stopped thinking a lot. I think that's what one has started doing, is not thinking of ramifications, repercussions, or worrying what others say. Because there's, a, there's really a, a saying in a Hindi song that says, Kuch to log kahenge, logo ka kaam hai kena. So I think you have to basically just become deaf to many, many words. Because today, opinions are available at every counter of life. You know, wherever you go, you wake up in the morning to opinions, you sleep and you're reading people's opinions. People have a lot of time in the world to give you their opinion. It's what you choose to take and what you choose not to. And I think I've decided that you can call it a really good midlife crisis. I'm 44 and I don't listen to people anymore. <laughs>